Hey guys, welcome to ProfitCopilot.com. My name is McMeany and I'm here to help you profit from your passion. So today is all about SEO. We're going to look at the world's most advanced SEO plugin for WordPress. So today you will learn the most advanced SEO plugin for WordPress. This is an alternative to Yoast. Finally, we've got something that can actually seriously compete and improve on what Yoast has done because you might recall that in 2018 version 7 of Yoast well that caused thousands of websites to plummet in the search engines because there was an, a problem with the image feature of, of Yoast some sites are still trying to recover from that so it's good to have an alternative and with this plugin that that I'm talking about today, a Twitter user called Nelly Dogman reported a 25,000 increase in visitors with this plugin. Let me show you his tweet. Hopefully you can see that he says deleted Yoast changed to rank math. That's the WordPress plugin we're talking about today. He says deleted Yoast changed to rank math. Traffic jumps to 25,000. Hmm. And then he goes on to say 25K in traffic in my niche equals around $3,000, by the way. So I am hearing really good reports about this plugin. It's, it came out about a year ago, but I didn't really want to jump on it or talk about it too much because it was new and it was largely untested. The fact is, we're going to use it together for the first time today. So you're going to see my actual genuine reaction because it seems like now is a good time to jump on board. It is 100% free to use and I am assured that the developers have promised that all features, and there are many, all features will remain free to use even when a premium version comes out. So apparently what they're going to do is keep all the amazing, amazing features that they've got right now and then add more for a premium price later on. So that means everything that we see today will remain free forever. So you can follow me step by step because we're going to install and use the plugin for the first time. You're going to see my actual genuine reaction to this. I have not used it yet. I've just heard so much, so many good things about this and people leaving Yoast in droves to move over to Rank Math. So also, if you stay until the end, I'm going to show you how you can get more traffic methods for free. So why should we use an SEO plugin to begin with? Why is it important? Well, it's going to help you get more organic traffic for free. That's the big bonus by increasing your position on the Google search engine results pages and helps you build an authority website that ultimately converts visitors into profit. So that's the important bit. That's why we should use an SEO plugin. But this one is specifically made for, for a, a range of websites. Let me show you what they are. So this is made for bloggers and content creators. It's made for portfolio websites community websites, small business websites, and e-commerce websites. So if you're running one of those sites, this plugin is going to be great for you. But listen, there's so many people out there on the internet who want to give you advice, want you to, who want to get in front of you and try and teach you stuff. A lot of them, you probably already know this, a lot of them don't really have a clue what they're talking about. They're just regurgitating stuff that they've heard elsewhere. So why should you listen to me anyway? What separates me from everyone else? Well, I've been laughed out of my first SEO job interview in 1998. It's not something to brag about, something to be deeply ashamed of, but there it is. That's the truth. In 1998, I'd been learning this internet marketing stuff, or so I thought, and then I went to, we went to a job interview they were looking for an SEO and they asked me some of that about like meta tags or something. Didn't have a clue what they were on about. 
I was completely laughed out of there. And uh, I decided, right, I'm going to come back strong. So I committed myself to the next few years of learning this stuff, going really deep. And I worked, eventually I got a job working for the UK's biggest B2B internet firm in 2001. And that firm actually incorporated the SEO company that laughed me out of the um, the interview eventually anyway. So I ended up working with the same people that laughed me out of, uh, of that interview. And uh, I'm really pleased that they did that because had they not done that, it wouldn't have given me the determination to go, so, well, I'm going to show them what I can do. I'm going to show them that, that I, I can uh, I can compete with those guys. So when I started working for the UK's biggest B2B internet firm, I specifically focused on SEO and web design and a little technology which is kind of obsolete now called Flash. So that's really what I did. And then I went self-employed a few years later in 2004 and I built a hobby site, my own hobby site, to 4 million hits a month. And then as a result of that, I ended up working with globally recognized figures. I'm not going to name drop, but if if you're familiar with the channel and the podcast, then you, you, you already know. So are you happy to go ahead and install the plugin and let me guide you through this? So let's go to the WordPress dashboard. I'm going to use one of my demo sites for this because we're just messing around. So let's go to WordPress. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is on the left hand side, go to plugins, add new, click on that. And then we have on the right hand side, search plugins, type in rank math, and hit go. And here we have WordPress SEO plugin rank math. I'm going to click install now and then hit activate when it does its thing. So activate. And remember, I've not used this before. We're going to we're going to set it up for the first time together. So it's asking me to create a free account. So I need to connect your free account with with rank math. So let me go ahead and create that now. Oh, and look at that. It's got one of those Facebook integration things. So we don't have to actually manually go through and create a new account so we can just connect it with Facebook. Nice. Okay. So let's go back and get working on the plugin. Okay. So now we have a wizard. So it says your website is compatible to rank math, rank math SEO. So there it's got the, the technical details of the, the server and the PHP version, that kind of stuff. We don't really need to worry about that. And there it says start wizard. I'm going to click that. Here we will choose what type of website this is. So we can choose from personal blog, community blog, news site, personal portfolio, small business, web shop, other personal website, other business website. Well, I'm going to go with community blog. Here we have business type. Holy, holy moly. Look at that. All these different types of, of businesses to choose from. So I'm going to choose one that is as closely related to my niche as I as I can possibly get. So I'm going to spend a bit of time looking through this. OK, can't find one that applies to me, so I'm just going to go with organization. Then I can put in uh, the company name, add logo, have a default social share image. This could be good for you to add. I'm just going to go ahead, save and continue as we're doing the wizard process. OK, here we can connect to Google search console and then choose the profile. I'm not going to bother with that. I suggest that you do, though, when you set it up properly. OK, here we have sitemaps. I would make make sure that sitemaps are on, include images, make sure that's on public post types, 
All these are checked by default. Public taxonomies, that's checked. Good stuff. Uh, save and continue. Optimization. No index. Make sure that's on. Everything looks. Everything looks okay. No follow external links. That is entirely up to you. I actually like to pass link juice to uh, to my external links. I think it's a good thing to do, but that's personal preference for me. So strip category base. I think if you're if you're setting this up on a brand new website strip your category base maybe maybe now again this is is kind of one of those things where there's a little bit of debate because that category ideally should have a keyword in it so it helps google rank brain decide what your content is about so in that respect having a category category in the url is going to be beneficial however it does increase the length of the overall URL. And Google, as far as I'm aware, prefers shorter URLs, more compact URLs. Maybe the results on that are negligible. And uh, maybe we would have to do an actual proper split test to, to find out how the Google algorithm is is responding to that at the moment. I'd say it's, it's kind of up to you. I like to have I like to have my URLs as short as possible, as condensed as possible, and then I know exactly what keywords are going in that. So I would if this was a brand new website, I would strip category. If it's an if you're importing the settings from Yoast or whatever, then I would probably just leave everything as default. So I'll click save and continue. And there we're ready. How easy was that? Okay. Enable auto update of the plugin. I'm going to go yes, because I want, I don't want to have to go and manually update that every time they release a new version. Okay. Uh, set up advanced options. Okay, here we're going to get down into the real nitty gritty stuff. Um, if you're not sure, if you're not sure of any of this, just leave it as default. So let's just go to the next screen. This is really nice. Add missing all attributes. So. I'm going to turn that on. Rich snippet, leave that on. Rich snippet type for for uh, post. Article. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, this is going to depend on your niche, right? So the type of content you produce even. So I'm just going to leave it as default because on my blog, it's predominantly articles. And their article type. I'm going to go with article over blog post, then rich snippet type pages. I'm going to leave that as article, leave that alone and click save and continue. And there we are, we're all set up. So it says, welcome to rank math. How easy was that? That was a pretty quick and easy process. And here we have lots more options. SEO analysis. Let Rank Math analyze your website and your website content using 70 plus different tests to provide tailor made SEO analysis to you. Search Console. So we can connect with Search Console there. Sitemaps, WooCommerce. This is powerful. So let's go to general settings. We can actually import these from Yoast. So 
look at all these different settings we've got. This is titles and meta. That's kind of important. So you want to leave all of these alone. So where it says robots meta, make sure none of those are checked because that's going to, uh, if that's checked like that, that's going to tell Google to not index your website, which you don't want, obviously. I would suggest you have a play around with this in your own time and then customize it for your particular website. This, this is so much more powerful than Yoast or SEO all in one. SEO analysis. Let's go there. Analyze your site by linking your rank math account. I thought we did that previously, but never mind. So let's go back to the rank math uh, dashboard. There you can see this is an amazing plugin. What if we were to add a new post? Because one of the things that I really love about Yoast is the fact that it uh, it analyzes your content as you're creating it. So as you're writing an article, it will it will actually look at um, look at the content and weigh up all the signals and the the what it understands as the Google algorithm weigh up all the signals that that Google looks at. And then it will tell you how to improve your article as as you're doing it. Oh, look at this! This goes even further than um, than Yoast. Ooh, so so we've got general SEO settings. We can go to advanced, rich snippet, social. So we can do some of this in Yoast, but not all of this. So we can put in a focus keyword. We can set this as pillar content. Basic SEO. Wow, look, so it's it's basically telling you how to SEO the content as you go. It's going really in depth here. Yeah, this is good. This is this is possibly the best SEO plugin that I've ever used, considering this is completely free. I can see why people are leaving Yoast and switching over to this. Okay, I'm a bit, bit stunned because I wasn't expecting something this good. Wow, so I know you're probably going to be eager to mess around with this and delve into it and, and get SEO in your content and stuff. So, before you go ahead and install that plugin and mess around with it, I've got something extra for you. So if you want more traffic methods, this is going to help you get lots more organic traffic for free. When you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic, grab that. It's not going to cost you a penny. And if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up below. Subscribe to the channel too. Hit the little notification bell. So you never miss an update from me and I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Take care guys.